Health edge cervical death rates are much higher than originally thought. Dr. Parth Hernandi joins us now with a look at a new study just released and how you can protect yourself. Important information. So cervical cancer death rates are much higher because previous calculations didn't account for women who had their cervix removed in hysterectomies. A new study collected data between 2000 and 2012 and found the death rates for white women is 47% higher than previously thought. Sadly, the number drastically rises for African American women. The death rate is 77% higher than calculated before. So serious stuff here. So why do you think that rate is so high in African American women and, and in Caucasian women? Hey, important question. So many women who get cancer don't often have access to screening. This could be because of racial disparity with not enough African American women having access or having having limited access to cervical cancer screening programs. This is really w a big wake-up call because cervical cancer is highly preventable, especially here in the U.S., when it's found early. It's usually treatable with high survival rates. What can be done to prevent cervical, ca Absolutely. cervical cancer? So, so having long-lasting infections with HPV, or the human papillomavirus, is the main cause for the majority of cervical cancer cases. To help prevent cervical cancer, I've got my prescriptions. Number one, start getting screened for cervical cancer at age 21. It's called it's called a pap test and get it done every three years and number two at, at age 30 get the pap test and an HPV test every five years also girls between 9 and 26 should get the HPV vaccination it's best to get this before they're sexually active and lastly HPV is a sexually transmitted virus so keep yourself safe by using a condom all right and lastly don't don't stop uh, quitting from smoking. Smoking is a big risk factor, so please stop. Uh, and, and, and if you can't, please quit. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, Doc. My pleasure. All right. Got a question for the doctor or a health concern? Email them at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.